Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about how you can put your database into the archive log mode and no archive log mode, but with the React databases. So whenever you do any activity, you need to understand one thing that whether it is online activity, do we really need a downtime to perform this activity? So that you know, you can talk to the client saying that I need some 30 minutes of downtime, one hour of downtime and you can take a decision because at the end, when you have a downtime, it is going to impact to your applications, your users will impact and at the end of the day, it's a business of dollar. So whenever you want to change your log mode. So there are two log mode are there. One is a archive log mode and another is a no archive log mode. So whenever you want to change this log mode, you need to have a downtime. It's not an online activity. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can put your database into the archive log mode. So first of all, we are going to see whether my database is in no archive log mode or not. Okay, before I show you this practically, again, my request is please do like subscribe and share this channel. And one more update that I want to tell you here that from tomorrow, I'm going to start my real time database training. So it is a really, really good opportunity for you to start this Oracle DB training with me. And tomorrow is the first day. First day is always important because second day is depending on your first day. So let's get started and we'll see these things practically. First of all, let me start my node one. So this is my node one and I'm logging with the Oracle user and let me enter my Oracle password. I'm going to check whether my database is running or not, whether my instance is running or not. I can see that my instance is running. Let me connect to the SQL plus utility and I'm firing the command like archive log list. When I fire this command, I can see that my database is in no archive log mode and my archive destination is pointing to the USB DB recovery file destination. What is this name? If I fire one more command show parameter recover, I can see that my recovery area is set. Let me check that. Yes, my recovery destination is FRA. And it has given some size also. It means this USB DB recovery file destination is actually your FRA. It means if I'm keeping my database into the archive log mode and whenever these archives are going to be generated, those archive will go into this location. This is the name of your location, but which is the actual location? FRA is my actual location. Plus is mentioned means obviously it is a ASM file system, right? Okay. Now this archive destination is already set. I just need to change the log mode. How to do that? What I'm going to do, I'm going to fire this command if I want to change the log archive destination, but in my case, it is already set. So no need to do anything. I just need to fire a command like alter database archive log archive log i just want to repeat one more time if my archive destination is not this one or let's assume that i want to change my archive destination to different path so i need to fire this command alter system set log archive destination one equals to location and whatever location you want to give this location is already given in my system so i'm fine i don't need to change it and i'm saying that side equals to star it means even though if I'm trying to see this location from the node one or node two instance one on instance two, it should get changed because this setting is applicable on the database level, not on the instance level. All right. So I'm getting some error message because when I try to change a log archive log mode, alter database archive log mode, this activity is not online activity. That is why I told you that first of all, you need to stop the database keep the database into the mount stage and then fire this command. Okay, let me do one thing. Let me shut down this database. So I am firing the command SRVCTL stop database hyphen D rack. 
I'm stopping my database. Now I need to start my database into the mount stage because changing the log mode is going to be happened in only in mount stage only. For that we need a downtime. So I'm just stopping the database means my database will not be running and users will not be able to connect. So it is a downtime we already started. Okay, my database is getting down. Let me do one thing. Let me start my database into the mount stage. SRB CTL start database hyphen D. This is my database name hyphen O. The option is mount. I want to start my database into the mount stage. Let me do that. But first of all, the database needs to be shut down. It's already done. Let me fire this command now mount. Okay. Now it is a time to connect to the Oracle database and fire the command. Let me do one thing. It may take some time to keep your database into the mount stage. So let me do one thing. Let's wait for a while. Let this database go into the mount stage, connect to the SQL plus utility and put your database into the log mode. Now my database is into the mount stage. Correct. I'm connecting to the SQL plus utility. Okay. So I'm here. If I check what is the open underscore mode of my database, it should be in mount stage. It's mounted. Now let me do one thing. Alter database archive log. Archive. I fired this command. I just changed the log underscore mode of my database from no archive log mode to the archive log mode. Let me do one thing. Let me stop my database and start it one more time. So I'm stopping my database. SRV CTL stop database. The option is hyphen D for the database and this is my database name. Once I stop my database, I'll start it. But this time when I will start my database, it will get started with the archive log mode. And we know one thing that if your database is in archive log mode, you can take a backup. There are multiple operations you can perform it when your database is in archive log mode. So which is very, very important to keep your database into the archive log mode. Even though let's assume that you are using a data guard setup, your database should be in archive log mode. Okay, so I started, I'm, I'm going to start my database. Just replace stop with start. So service CTL is the utility through which you are going to start a database. Start database hyphen D rack. Okay, now what I will do after that, I'll connect to the SQL plus utility and I'll check whether my database is in ARCA log mode or not. But this needs to be done under the SQL plus utility. Starting a database and stopping a database, it is little time consuming process because there are some background processes are running whenever you start the database or stop the database that we will understand in the next lecture. At this point, since we have some free time, you can just subscribe to my channel. And if you have some free time, you can call me and let's get stuck about the training. Okay, let me connect to the SQL plus utility SQL plus slash sysdb. I'm sorry, my bad. I have given the wrong syntax. Okay, I got connected. And if I fire archive log list from the node one, I can see that automatic archival is enabled. My database is in archive log mode. And this is the destination where my archive logs are going to be generated. Let me do one thing. Let me open a new session and I'm connecting to the node two. There also I'll check whether my database looks in archive log mode or not. It should be because this is database level setting. Here also you can see it is archive log mode enabled and this is my destination. So this is how you can keep your database into the archive log mode. You can do one more thing. You can go to the FRA location and check whether these archives are getting generated or not manually. You need to check that cross check it. That's a right way. I hope this is pretty much clear. If you have any question queries, anything, please put it into the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye bye. And I'm again, one more last thing. I'm going to start my new real time Oracle DB batch from tomorrow. You can reach out to me. Bye bye.